President Biden and former President Trump make dueling visits to the southern border. Congress passes a short-term funding deal to avoid a partial government shutdown. And Russian opposition leader Alexei Navalny is laid to rest in Moscow. I'm Lauren Taylor. This is your Morning Minute. 300 miles apart from one another, President Biden and former President Trump each surveyed the U.S.-Mexico border Thursday and spoke about the record number of migrants illegally crossing into the country. Biden visited the city of Brownsville, where he called on Trump to join him to help pass the Senate's bipartisan border security bill, one the former president has rallied against. Trump, meanwhile, was joined by Texas Governor Greg Abbott in Eagle Pass, where he put the blame for the crisis on Biden. Congress passed a short-term funding deal on Thursday to avoid a partial government shutdown that was set to take effect Friday night. It now heads to President Biden's desk. In response, the president said the passage of the bill is good for Americans, but that it's only a short-term fix. Congress will return next Next week to finish work on long-term funding plans. Russian dissident Alexei Navalny's funeral and burial are taking place in Moscow Friday. His team shared video of mourners gathered outside the church, and they could be heard chanting Navalny's name as his casket was carried inside. Prison officials said Navalny died suddenly on February 16th after collapsing following a walk inside a Russian penal colony. Navalny's wife has vowed to continue his work.